I'm meteorologist Pete Malone. This is your Sunday, May 23rd tropical update and something interesting that happened overnight. Anna became fully tropical. It was subtropical, now tropical storm Anna. It's not like a big issue for anyone though. It is heading northeast 12 miles per hour, sustained winds at 45, so a minimal uh, tropical storm as it moves towards the northeast. There's a track by tomorrow. It is expected to get absorbed by a cool front coming on in. That's going to uh, dissipate it, get absorbed up into it, and it of course will continue to weaken. And as I mentioned, this is not going to be an issue for any land masses. It's just going to be moving out towards uh, where some ships are. Now you might be wondering when we talk about subtropical versus tropical, what is the difference? Well, there are a few differences and you're usually you're talking about the structure of the storm itself. They're both low pressures. That's a given. Uh, one of the big differences though is what feeds these storm. Yes, they both feed off of warm water, but the subtropical system can get its energy from other places, usually up in the atmosphere, maybe a temperature difference, whereas a tropical system really just gets its energy from the warm waters itself. Now something else, the structure of the storm looks a little different, a tropical or a subtropical system. The rain is usually spread far out from the center. Usually it's displaced way far away from the center, whereas a tropical storm, the heavier rain is usually a little bit more compact, closer, and it's the same thing when you're talking about the wind field. The wind field with the subtropical system usually really big, whereas when you get into a tropical system, it usually starts to compact, and that's exactly what Ana did overnight. Those storms got closer to the center. The wind started to compact, and that's why they said it's a transition to a tropical storm. So our first tropical storm of the season, and by the way, we've had one every single year for the past seven years. This is the longest running uh, we've seen preseason storms develop. That is before June 1st. So we had two last year and of course two back in 2016. Uh, but we've had a named storm form before June 1st all the way back since 2015. So we've got Anna off the list. Notice the rest of our list. The next next name though will be Bill. The good news, we are not tracking anything else in the tropics at this point.